Okay, I think we're live. Welcome to the Truman Show. Jenik, your host with the wonderful Mark Wing. Hello, everyone. How are you, Mar? I'm good. I'm good. Yannick, how are you? Hey. Oh, me, I'm better than good, better than most. And you know what? Sometimes even better than that. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Mar, I wanted to start that. I said I wanted to do a hangout, but it's going to be a, a short one because we want to do it really Go from the heart and explain people why we know deep down inside our heart that the earth is not a big blue ball. It's flat, a plane, whatever name you want to call it, but it's not a big spinning ball traveling through space. That, that I know for sure inside my heart and I'm you too. So explain me why you think, not why you think, why you know that it's what it is. Well, I was as ignorant as everyone else. <laughs> and I started just looking at the data. And as, as they say, once you go flat, you cannot go back. It was so true. It yeah. was so true. If you have even a little, little tiny brain, <laughs> once you start looking at the facts, they are actually facts. They are not just hypotheses. They're not, they're, they're not just someone making this up, a theory that has gone through 500 years without being even checked. They are checked. Like when you check the distances and then when you apply the curvature formula, it, it, it works. If, if yeah. the earth is supposed to be 25, thousand miles in circumference first of all who measured it right but if it is that even if it's not that even if it is way bigger we have to have some type of measurement on it so i was looking this morning actually yannick on yeah. google it seems that their formula for curvature on google is completely distorted one because they say every mile is eight months it's eight inches of decrease they do i mean of drop they don't say that after the first mile every all the distance every other mile has to be squared yeah. so even the more amazing scientists that i meet like my friends that have been teaching in universities and everything when i tell them there is an eight inch drop in the first mile then they go keep adding that formula to the rest of the miles and it doesn't end up to be the truth they say look this is wrong what you're saying is wrong yet if you apply the true um trigonom trigonometry of the uh, of the curvature to it you will see that it is very true and even if it is millions of times bigger like eric dubay says yeah. we have to see some type of convexity in all of our waters i mean i can go on and on and on with this you know about it all the lakes in our world are completely sheer sheer mirror like flat yeah. and um, i was talking in uh, with another friend and in a video Lake Baikal, for example, in Russia. You've heard about it? Yeah, I heard that before, but I didn't research into it. No? Lake Baikal yeah. in Russia is 365 miles square. Do you know how big that is? 300, wow. no, 395 square miles. Now, the entire lake freezes in the winter. So people do all kinds of um, ice skating and everything and, yeah. uh, and winter sports on it. Just imagine if you apply that curvature formula to that distance, it will create 20 yeah. miles of drop, meaning that it creates a dome of 20 miles drop on that lake. Now, are all the skiers going up the hill and down the hill? No, it's completely flat the whole way. And then if you just imagine, how can ice, how that's can ice? I, that's what I was going to tell you. How do you want the ice to stay intact? To, to stay in a curve. Have you ever seen ice staying in a curve? It just doesn't make any sense. It's no. psychotic. It's all psychotic. There are things that, but you know, it's when you start opening your eyes too that you see those things. If you don't question anything you've been told, you won't see it. Like same like you were saying, those researchers and scientists most often they just repeat what they have heard and never investigating or doing their own thinking. So they're trapped in a 
and something that they can never get out là, unless they emancipate themselves from the mental slavery because that's the whole thing you have we're all under mental slavery yeah we don't and the worst is we don't know we don't know because it's, it's so deep the conditioning mar that we don't even realize that we're brainwashed and, and unless you do the work and only those who have the the the, the courage and the guts to question their the authority and the, the the system that they live in the indoctrination only those will find out the truth if you don't question the authority and the indoctrination that you receive you will never know the truth in life never 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 Yes, and you get you get very comfortable with the crumbs that is coming from the Luciferian control yeah. of the world, and then you don't even know that you have already chosen the path of Lucifer. Whatever Lucifer is, let's say Lucifer is our distance from the truth, yeah. and we have given into the distance from the truth for all the all these years eons we have given and we have accepted all the genocide all over the world we have accepted all the lies i mean we look at all the equipment that nasa has and our small minds goes oh my god with all these telescopes with all these billions of dollars of research how could they be lying to us but you we are forgetting Just, that hey lucifer can do way bigger lies than that even just look at their picture nasa it's insane what they're shooting us it's like what you want us to wake up for sure you want us to wake up look at the scrap you're giving us it's like you're spending trillions of dollars telling us you're blasting rockets into space when you it's not even true it's you're just wasting the money and creating an illusion but just look at the picture of the nasa if you have if if you have the guts to question your indoctrination, you will realize that it's all fake and CGIs. And there's not, there's no, there's no picture of Earth. There's nothing, 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 nothing. And what, what's the big deal of reversing Hubble and taking a picture of the Earth? Like they have a Hubble that take picture of the galaxy far, far away, apparently. But that same thing cannot reverse, turn around 180 degrees and take a picture of the Earth and send it back. Hello. Yes. Oh, you know, one of uh, one very awesome um, person on the last video we did about the yeah. chemtrails and flat earth, um, he wrote back and said, hey, why don't you guys talk about that? If they went to the to Mars, first of all, how could you move to to vacuum with any machine, with any machine? First any of all, machine. Okay, how, how do you want to advance into space? It's like you, you advance through the air with an airplane because you push the air. You move through water because you push the water. How do you want to move through space if there's nothing? What do you push? What well, you, then, what then, you, then they, they can't answer that. They say, it. oh, it's the black matter or the dark mod matter that they go through. It's like, oh, all of a sudden the dark matter became uh, available for us no. to travel through. And then this what, what this person was saying was that, okay, when they make, let's say that they make it to Mars or they make it to Moon. Now, where are, are their big, big cell towers? in this space that connects the radio waves yeah. to earth how's exactly. that possible well they have a relay station uh, in between both like uh, it's all it's all but once you start this if through seeing through that bullshit, you, you see clear not it's not long once you start matching the dots whether it's nasa or other cons c conspiracy i don't know if we, yeah conspiracy name is good but it's not theories, it's conspiracies. But I hate to say theories because they're all real. It's not theories. They were all being indoctrinated. Me, me. Uh, that's it. it. It's not hard. It just, just look at the numbers. Look at the numbers NASA are giving you. Wow. 93 million miles away the sun. It's a distance we cannot even comprehend. We're not even able to comprehend the numbers they give us. And we just accept them like there's nothing. Same like me, Mar. I, I, you know, I... I never really freaked on NASA, never really freaked on space stuff, and never really been attracted because I'm very uh, roots, I'm very uh, down to hurt, and I, I, I love root stuff, so I'm not into space blasting rockets. Uh, like, but there is something going on, and uh, humanity is waking up, and uh, I think we should just keep on pushing, pushing, and pushing with our so stuff. So when was, when was your first awakening? How did you wake up? Me, okay, me, the whole thing happened. First of all, okay, the the, the, first, the work happened from inside first. It's a, something that starts inside. 
for me, it started uh, by researching because I heard Bob Marley a lot saying about Babylon. I heard Peter Tosh saying about illusion and confusion in the world. So at one point, at 40 years old, when I had my knee accident, I, de I decided to build up on it and become a change and change my life and become a, a man of service to the world instead of living for myself and my little job and da da da. So I decided to explore that and I made research on Babylon, which brought me, I researched all kinds of stuff on YouTube. I made 900 videos. I po posted all my research on my channel and that brought me to find the flat earth with XB, but it wasn't long for me more. It was instantaneous because I was on that path of finding the truth. I was looking for something. When I found out that, 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 that the earth was not a big blue ball, to me, it was clear. Clear. It took a, a, a second. I had a quantum leap of expansion in my brain. I, I called my son. I called Jonathan Levy in Quebec. I'm sure you can remember. I called uh, all kinds of people. I'm like, okay, you got to sit down. I, gotta, I called Cecil in Jamaica. Right away, I said, bro, you got to sit down, man. You think Babylon's bad? You think Babylon is dirty, bro? I'm going to tell you something. Your head is going to freaking spin like the earth supposed to spin. But anyway, so I went on and tell my story to all kinds of people. And I have a very good uh, way to tell my stories. Like I have, I have a good sense of persuasion when I talk. I'm not... Uh, so people, for sure, they, they, they know I'm not saying bullshit or just to sound interesting. Like, I'm not like that. Like, I don't research a uh, thing. So that's what brought me to the flat earth. But also, I, when I started to look at the picture of the NASA, I, I realized a lot of stuff. Because I, I, at the beginning, I was looking at those galaxy and nebula stuff in space. And I was like, okay, it could be possible. Like, I wasn't questioning everything but it's the moment yeah. you start questioning and the, the fact that they want to hide god the, the real purpose behind all their thing is to hide the the, the grand organizing designer uh, i don't know god i don't know what but me like i told you last thing out i've been created i'm not a random spec so but that's what they want to hide that's why they play god that's why they, they they dress like god in the vat scan and all kinds of religion they act like they are representative of god that's what they they they, they want to impose on us that they it, it, we have to go through to god but through them like i am god you are goddess like it's us like if i'm not if i if i cannot claim i'm god then the seed and the fruit cannot claim it's the fruit it's the same thing. It's the same thing. I cannot, if I cannot claim I'm a son of God, how can I claim I come from my parents? It's the same thing. The seed inside the fruit, same thing. So if you have a doubt that you're a son of God or a woman or a daughter of God, because we're all son and daughter, uh, well, uh, rethink a bit and you, you're going to see that it makes sense. We're all, we're all divine. We're all divine, but it's to tap it but me i'm even more powerful than that now because i discovered not how bad the world is but how powerful i was created that's the discovery it's not necessarily i didn't discover that the earth is flat because i knew the earth is flat was flat because at a young age i always had doubt that people hold under under the sphere and the, the water can hold so i knew right away at a young age there was something wrong but i've been put under a trance growing up I've been put into brainwash, into indoctrination, and I forgot all of this, forgot the question, a lot of stuff, even though I grew up with Bob Marley. It's to tell you at what point the programming goes deep. Bob says it in one of his songs. You're, you're blasting your spaceship million miles from reality while you were suffering on Earth. And I was listening yes. to that, and I was like, okay, but... Now I, I, I realize what he meant. Like Bob probably knew about all that stuff. He, but I you mean, know, it's it's amazing, Yannick, that how some people, after years and years of hearing that we maybe there is a possibility that we did not make it to the moon, they they kind of consider that it's like, yeah, I've seen some things. And there are some questions out there, but they don't relate it. They don't connect it. 
they don't exactly. connect. That if they did not go to the moon, what is the reason that they acted and pretended as if they did? What goes behind that? How is that connected to the CGI, only fake CGI blue ball picture that we are stick on, that are it's that we are stuck on? How is that related to evolution that is only a th theory? How is that connected to the Big Bang that makes us coming from an accident? How is that making us feel when when we learn all our childhood that we are from the monkeys? Do we think you know that where? we have any higher brain to do anything on this earth? Isn't everything by design? What are we doing here? I mean, Maybe. all those questions are all interrelated together and people separate them and put them in different categories. And then once it comes to earth is not a spinning ball, they just grow horns. <laughs> oh, they grow horns. You should have seen that. I have to tell you something that happened to me last night. Wow, I was on shock because I'm starting to test a bit the, the reggae communities around yeah. to see at what point they're awake. And yesterday, a girl come and post on my reggae group on Facebook. And I'm now I put myself sole administrator because there's too much uh, stuff with round ball, blue ball, and I don't want yeah. that. So yeah. she comes and posts four videos, but there's a blue ball on the video at the bottom constantly spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning oh, yes, on yes. the video on the video music. I'm like, what the heck is that? What kind of indoctrination is that? So I deleted her post and I went on her personal wall and I commented and I said, I think in a polite way, I said, her name is Unda Nancy from Unda Radio. And she wrote me something back. She has seen that. Anyway, I went to comment. I said, listen, this is not very conscious for someone that's into reggae music and supposedly try to uplift people. And she has like 5,000 friends on Facebook. She's probably a big radio girl or something. And she starts telling me that uh, en français, she wrote to me back in French. She was probably in France somewhere that what I was doing by telling her about the earth being flat and that we were not on a big spinning ball and all that, that I was a Babylonian guy, that I was the Babylonian guy and I was the one growing horns. And I, what I was bringing was not constructive at all for anybody of her community or herself. Yes. So she said I could keep my remark for myself and uh, that's it, peace at the end. So I got the same answer that you got in your uh, thing. Uh, it's like until that mentality change, that people are ready to, to accept the oneness, the oneness, oneness, not art, oneness. We are one, each one to each one. I can bring something very substantial to your life, just like you to mine. So, but if that mentality doesn't change, it's going to take a long time, but... We're going to win. If We will always win because it's God over evil all the time. Okay, so that brings me, so, that brings me to, to the next question. Yes. The question is, let's say that part of us that has fallen from heaven, heaven being the complete consciousness and connectedness in the universe, yes. we fell <laughs> from that consciousness into what we may title Luciferian, meaning that being away from that consciousness, Patrix, something that is holding us um, in our littleness and in, and, and in our limitation at all levels. Yeah. Why do the, the people who are keeping us, and, and of course, I, I always include myself in that. If I'm in there, it's also my manifestation and mm -hmm. how I'm going to pull myself out of the Luciferian uh, uh, sphere, uh, Luciferian sphere and blue ball. I mean, they, they must be in pain inside. That's why they have blue balls. <laughs> They're in pain because how could you keep yourself and the entire world in such an illusion? Uh, um, it's terrible. Eh? So my question from you is this. Why do they think they're from the light? What kind of light is that? Do we have a fake light? And do we have a real light? Why do they call themselves Luciferians? Why are they, I mean, besides being male dominant, attaching to the male god and uh, the sun as a representation of masculine, besides that, 
what else? That's not light, though. What me, is it? Me, I think it's all by uh, by design, very subliminal to control the mind. Because once we wake up, look the power we have. I speak out, you speak out, we all speak out. The world change right away. So it's all a mind game. That's how they the, the operate. I, uh, me, uh, that's why the 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 project all those vibrations those signs and symbols inside society like you said they uh, sometimes they organize festival and you're gonna see the signs and the symbols displayed everywhere everywhere just subliminal to work in your mind to, and that you don't see it unless you stop your programming and your uh, mind control that you've been put under you will never never realize the effect it has subconsciously on you you are under an under a trance it's like me it's like i was reborn more when i discovered the flat earth it's like i was born again yeah. i i rediscovered the world now from from Same here. so imagine my kids i give them all that empowerment my kids know everything about my 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 son eight year old come back from school telling me about dinosaur i'm sorry i break his bubble i, I tell him and dinosaur never exists then i tell him all the truth all the truth everything so i don't okay. want them to live in an illusion i said you're gonna have to go through school to that that uh, government force indoctrination camp that's all i call them that's all they are they're force indoctrination camp they will you gotta go okay. through it so, anyway. so answer my question where why are they representing the light lucifer is someone coming from the light yeah. Wh why are they attaching to themselves to the light is that is that just a pretension within us as if like we are the owners and the creators in a false way i mean that is the falsehood that mm -hmm. is our separation from from unity and from heaven right but why light i mean they okay they are uh, that energy that luciferian energy is hiding in itself in the pretension of light that is what it is yeah, it, is, it is not really light everything is inverted eh? they invert everything to their uh, state of mind their state of uh, power so they for sure they're gonna take lucifer and invert it they invert everything that's why people that's why there's confusion because they have inverted everything and you don't see it because they act like they are represented of light of god when they're not they're representative of the i don't know <laughs> they, 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 yeah someone, they, they, some, they don't come from god for sure someone wrote on the last video that we did very beautiful and he said um you know it's amazing that is a proof of god that we have we are still alive and we have not died and there are all these chemtrails and with all the vaccinations uh, well i will add few things to that with all the fluoride in our <laughs> in our yeah. waters and and all the junk that they're adding to everything all the nanoparticles it's a that is a proof of god with that we, with that we're still alive that i thought that was very sweet yeah for sure like we have to really really attach to the divine to the oneness to the 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 the, the universal mind to be able to change things so the only way you can attach to the universal mind and be able to to deal with it and to send your thoughts and he will send you he will respond to you is if you take action and you start you know waking up in act as your uh, god representant like me i'm mostly different representing something like i'm not uh, like that's how i recognize the oneness in uh, each and every one that's why i don't mind sometimes going to wake up people because i know that probably the kind of answer i'm gonna get but anyway they're a part of me that i let go so i have to deal with it yeah you know since childhood uh living in a middle eastern country i always questioned the authority and the way it was um the male control the the religious control the the whatever cultural control from wherever it comes yeah. uh, and then and then as time went by i i started questioning a lot of things yet the first time i really really got politically active was uh, through joanna macy's joanna macy's is this beautiful older beautiful woman that mm -hmm. was a meditator for years and years and years and finally after like 18 years she got up from the za food or the med meditation pillow and said you know what if you just meditate in your mind and you don't take it into action on earth 
none of your meditations means anything. That's it. And, and one thing that she brought to me, uh, she said, look, you can go to psychotherapist all your life to try to resolve your childhood, to, to try to uh, resolve being stuck in the Lucifer's claws of blood. <laughs> but you know, it would not go away. That instant, that instant that you go and all of a sudden find yourself in front of a bulldozer that is going to kill a whole bunch of people, or it's going to deforest this whole ancient, ancient forest on earth and you just st stand in front of that bulldozer and say look i am not going to let you do this then you're standing up for something way bigger you're standing for the entire forest behind you you're standing for the entire people behind you your ancestors for the truth for the future generations and all of the sudden all of what you thought was your psychological problems just vanish. So I did a little bit of training with her. She goes all around and teaches about our powers and everything. And that was when I got really, really activated when the Iraq, when the Iraq war yeah. started. I just could not stand it. I started just coming out and talking. And you it know? took me many years before I, I started actually talking on, on YouTube yet right now with the flat earth movement as you said is the next generation oh, yeah, of all what, that motion you know what they have created to subliminally subconsciously is an ego in each and every one of us like that that's their goal from birth is that you're to create you a big inflated ego so you don't attach to other people and you live in separation that's the whole goal the whole mind game list to not connect to others like they want you to live in separation so they inflate your ego 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 and that's what happened to me last night and with that girl uh, she has such a big ego that she cannot even entertain something that's outside her programming outside her belief like drop the belief and raise the consciousness that's what we need i was talking to a singer another reggae singer from jamaica i know a ch and that's why I know why I told him, I said, I would like to have you in, in, in an interview. You're very conscious. I said, that's what we have to do. Raise the consciousness in reggae music. It, it's, it's okay to talk about love, but there's not only love. Talk about truth. Tell the truth to people. Tell the children the truth, first of all. Tell the children the truth. Stop lying to them. You want to change the world? Stop lying to the children first. Yes, we have, we have, we have to uh, remember uh, the native people of the world. We have to remember the American Indians, even yeah. though they have always been presented to to the modern mentality as savages. We have no idea how they how they lived. We, I mean, when, when you look at Howard Zinn's The True History of of Americas the, yeah. or the World, you will see that. Uh, when the scavengers <laughs> or the slugs of the of the Europe came came uh, to the Indian lands, all they saw was this most magnificent beings in most incredible, beautiful bodies. Not incredible, credible. You see, our language is even is even messed up with. So it's like incredible is a bad word, but we use it as real. <laughs> so they were so beautiful and so giving and they came with gifts. So they stood and lived on earth with the smallest footprints and they lived so may seven generations after them can live in peace and beauty and we call them savages who are we if we call them savages and we can commit mass murder and genocide of yeah. what they were 100 million indians that were killed on on the western world is that that is unbelievable but you know people today also they, they they don't think that they will get wisdom from ancient civilization or ancient people all they look up because they're so brainwashed in the material world that they think they're gonna get wisdom into science like that, that pseudo science or stuff like that that's where they get their wisdom like oh i'm clever i know a lot of stuff in physics and uh, stuff like that i'm very clever you know the wisdom is mostly mostly from ancient civilization indian uh, american indian whatever Pe people that were connected to the earth not people that were connected to freaking space fake space like these people are not gonna bring us enlightenment 
That's what they play. They play like they're God. They, they, they put them into space because they're over us. That's another representation, subliminal. Why do you think they play into space? Because it's over us. Like, it's all subliminal. It's all... They're not... They never went to space. They never went to the moon. They, it's all scrap. It's all... Wake up, people. It's a big, fat illusion. I seen it. You seen it. Millions of people are seeing it. What? We're all saying bullshit here? We're all going on YouTube from one day to another, waking up at 42 years old to tell bullshit on YouTube to sound interesting? It's well, about we all, the reality of the world. We My all head's have about to, to blow up now. Yeah, yeah. We all have to take responsibility for that creation, though, because if we are the creators as we are, we have participated in that creation. Yeah, I mentioned I'm, I mentioned Mark Passio to you last time. Mark Passio says that I don't blame uh, the, the system that sends all these soldiers to their death and into violence in all the wars in the world. I blame the soldier for admitting himself to such a massacre. We, and such we are the society. We blame the society. We are the society. Hello, hello. It's us sending our kids in the army. It's us doing everything hello wake up it's us it's not anybody else but us that's the point you know mar another thing look. okay how can the moon be last night i was checking that yes in my mind in my mind it's very clear how can the moon be 238,000 miles away from the earth and the sun 93 million miles away and i see them in the same sky yes here in yes. Quebec, in my little house, I'm not. I don't cover a super big space on Earth. Just my little place. I look there, and I look there, and I see both. Hello. <laughs> well, they they say the sun looks the same size uh, because it's so far away. Um, and then if it is right there, and you see the moon, is because the moon is is orbiting orbiting the Earth. Oh, that's another question. How could the moon orbit the Earth in the vacuum? Exactly, exactly. What is pull, what, yeah, what is pulling that moon into the earth? I mean, when I was talking to the pilot again. It's like, uh, you know, how is the moon out there? And he got so mad. He said, why do you even question any of this? Just accept yeah. it. Just move on. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to accept everything and move on. Yeah, and then, and then also when I was saying that, look, if this little airplane is lifting up from here, it has to keep adjusting itself in order to go around the curve. Um, he says, no, 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 no. These, these airplanes are set up so nicely that they always have to go kind of upwards because the air comes underneath them and they have to go that way to ride the air. Oh, and they, they measure the, the, the air pressure all the time. I said, are you telling me that these airplanes are intelligent beings? They are intelligent beings. They calculate everything. They calculate the curvature. So you are sitting in the in the cockpit of the airplane. You get up and go make lunch for yourself. Yeah, and okay. a, a, a gyroscope, a gyroscope will only work on the plane. Cannot work on a ball. So how? Just that. Just the gyroscope. Study the gyroscope. It can only work on a plane. Because it is always uh, because it's always pointing to the north, yeah. and the north is the magnetic pole in the middle of the of the flat plane Earth. Exactly, like it's all very, very, and you know it's out there. Like, it's not because they keep it in a, in a safe. The truth, no? they don't keep it locked uh, in a safe. No? It's out there. We can just open our eyes, seek, find, and realize it's not hard. I did it. You did it. But it takes mental work. It takes dedication to, to put your distraction aside. Mara, I have put a lot of my distraction aside to, to come to that truth. That's another thing. You have to put things aside, distractions and stuff. And so people don't want to do that. They want to stay in comfort. But I suggest get out the comfort zone, you know. Uh, same like when you spin a tennis ball, the water is spitting out, uh, spilling out the tennis ball. Well, that's not a sign for you. The earth is spinning at a thousand miles per hour. Don't you think the water would splash out? Yeah, did you ever see that movie, The Neverending Story? <laughs> the whole world was coming into crumbles and, and death. And the guy who was the 
the warrior in the movie had to find the answer, find the answer in order to, and if he woke up from the illusion that he had accepted, then the entire world will be rescued. And um, I was just making a video whispering into the, into the ears of the of the human baby that has been sleeping for years and i was saying look our life is dependent upon your awakening you are essential you are important it's not in the hands of just a group here another group over there to save this and to save that in our world and to find out that almost all what we have been presented are jokes and lies it is up to us to wake up Me, and to save the future generations from the luciferian control of of darkness and going into the dark rabbit hole you know god knows would, where it could go if only 20 percent of people on the earth realize that what their senses are telling them is true and the earth is flat and motionless Yes. The new world order will have to fold their tents and crawl back under the rock from whence they came. Good riddance. Yes. Yes. It's, we don't need much people. We need about 20%. We're going to get there. We will win. It's always good. God over evil. So, uh, me, I'm very confident. I'm keeping, but it's very important to be the change, be the light. You will never, never see a change around you in your consciousness and your. Uh, Thing if you don't embody what you speak about and you don't be the change and be the light and go out and whether it's going it's like oh, a bit now. Eh? And also we have to remember that the people who have to apply such measures of illusion to our world in order to control it, they're actually very, very small. Yeah, but they're small. They are small people. We have to remember that we have power. We have not lost our power, and that once we wake up, they they have to come out from their screen that in the front of the lights they're standing to show them, project them as big people. They have to come up. They they will get scared. Yeah, you know, no, no, or listen to those who know. But now they're trying. Also, there's a lot of cult personality. I find that's another problem in the in the flat third movement if you want to call it like that uh, yeah. there's a lot of cult personality and i think that comes and play on people's mind a lot too. So, uh, so what do you mean by cult personality but uh, i think that's what most because there is shills out there yeah. for sure like me i believe for sure it's getting so big that they want to control everything don't you think they're gonna want to control the flat earth on youtube and like they what they try to do is create cult personalities that you only look up to those people and you follow those people and you never express your true divinity your greatness to the world because you're following a cult personality of someone that's talking about a subject i'm not naming name you the people that i'm talking about now know who i'm talking about i don't need to name name they know who i'm talking about there is there is shells in there. There is people that I'm not talking about people that come and put comment on video. It's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people that make videos on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Creating. Well, I mean, look what happened to the Occupy movement in the United States. Yeah. It was the first really huge people's movements of awakening against the systems of corporations and, and control. Look what happened. It got completely infiltrated. And you know, so, so once, once, if you're already conditioned in your mind and you hear about the flat earth because they have ridiculed it so badly for so many years, you think you're actually regressing or you're becoming a retard even thinking about the flat earth. Uh, th that way they, they start, um, what was I saying? <laughs> I forgot what I was no, saying. No, you were talking about the, the people in the flat earth. No? Uh huh. That that the the infiltration could yeah. be could be very big because once they start, if it, uh -huh, the first thing that people start looking at, they go to see if there are any videos 
debunking the flat earth rather than looking at the fact videos yeah. they look yeah. at and the only thing they can they can really find is that one they debunk a flat earth 10 10 things that are already has been debunked by journalism and many other people there's so many in a really amazing brothers and sisters that yeah. are researching this if if anyone actually gave their souls and their hearts to listen the reasoning uh, you go you become a flat earther you are already living on a flat earth this is not a new concept we're, <laughs> we're not... all flat earthers but we forgot it <laughs> Yeah, we, we're not making this concept up. It's not uh, just a hoax that will go away. No, it's never, it's never, that's the thing. That's what people, that, but that's the, that, that's what they try to create and that, that cult personality and stuff. It's all to, to enslave the mind and uh, at one point make people that believe that the, the movement will go away. But guys like me, girl like you will never stop with that. Never me. Uh, come on. Uh, it's the greatest thing that ever happened in my life. And I'm not, I'm not very much different. Like, I haven't went cuckoo and start talking about flat earth. I'm the same guy I was before. I'm just more enlightened, and I speak my mind now, which I've never done because I was programmed not to do it. But once you give back the power to the people and the people take back the power, which that's what we're doing. We're just taking back our power. That's all it is. Well, the world is changing now. So speak out speak your mind rise and shine you know give thanks for life give you're alive give thanks for life yes it's yes most yes wonderful time to be alive and we shouldn't and if the, there's millions of people talking about that what we're all wrong we're all on a on an acid trip like a hello it's just not a it's not a buzz it's not it's something that's here to stay we are awake now and it's and it's not and it's not an acid trip that this no. ball is going so fast around itself <laughs> around the sun into the infinite skies and all the waters are just attached to it so safely so nicely i mean there are so many reasons just no. go over all the <laughs> fact videos it's all over over here this, just, these are proofs these are not just theories you know, just like the moonlight, that's what I was saying in my video. We, we, we talk about the moonlight in our conversation. We say the moonlight, then we argue that the moon has no light. Yes. Hello, hello. We say it, moonlight, moonlight. But you tell me the moon has no light. It's a reflection from the sun. Hello. Like, well, well but, the, uh, this pilot friend was saying, how can you even measure the temperature of the moonlight? Um, and re to tell you the truth, at that point, I didn't know how people measure <laughs> the the temperature of the moonlight. Yeah. But then I, I I found on this site that there are actual actual instruments that yeah. that measure the temperature, <laughs> and yeah, you can yeah, buy them from any thermal gun. Yeah, and it's like okay, put it in the moonlight and see what it is, and then not put it in the moonlight and and just measure the atmosphere around there and see what it is, and then go into the shadow and measure. And now we're finding out that the moonlight is even colder than the shadow. But that's yeah, what I heard. Uh, from put food, someone. put food, put food under the sunlight and put food under the moonlight. It's going to be a very different. Uh, decomposition process or petrifying process uh, just the food uh, it, yeah. like, and then if we really think about it if something can reflect the light of something that is 95 million miles away if it can reflect it so it must be like a mirror like and a mirror. but but if we go into the sun and take a mirror and reflect the light of the sun like to a person over there that person's going to be hot they can't even look at it it's the reflector always reflects what is not to something else i cannot take the mirror and ref uh, and take a reflection from the sunlight and sh uh, and and project it upon a person and they feel cold that's not possible uh, but anyway this is the most moment for humanity to be enlightened and wake up the flat earth is the key to a lot of stuff to, to a lot of uh you, you see a me, I was, like I said, I was doing my research. I, I never came, like I came in contact with a lot of stuff, but nothing to really make me go on YouTube right away and start talking because I was like in Babylon stuff and it's hard to Jesuit and then this stuff. It's hard to, there's a lot of research to do in there before you can say, oh yeah, they're, they're the maniac behind everything. Or So there's a lot of research, but when I came in contact with that, it was 
what I was looking for. Là. So it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the evidence of the truth. So it's just the truth, the truth, the truth. But people like this, they, they don't want to see the truth. They want to stay in the illusion. I don't know why people... Uh, but they've, 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 they've been trained that way. They've been trained. They don't know that they don't know. So you come to tell, to tell them that the earth is flat. It's like they look at you like, are you on fucking acid, bro? <laughs> like, are you are you all right now? <laughs> like, but, you know, and, and uh, you know, just just an illusion point of view. Um, if you're standing on, on the ball this way and this way and this way, and that way, if you're actually thinking in the illusion that you're on the ball, you cannot really connect to all those people underneath or on the sides of the earth that are oh. standing that way. Since the time I know about the flat earth, because it is a plane, all the people are here. You're, they're nowhere under us. It, it doesn't... <laughs> you're, you're very, very close to me now. You're not all the way down the other side of the ball in California. Like, I'm in Quebec. You're right there. Like... It's very close. No? It's very uh, like we're very united with that. It's, it has a power to unite us all against all form of oppression. And we should really, really uh, like more people should come out. And me, I, like I said from day one, I don't want to create uh, followers. I want to create leaders. I want more people to lead and to speak their mind. That's all you have to do is go out and speak your mind and speak the yeah. truth. You don't have, you know, when you speak the truth, like I do today, like we do today, we don't have to remember anything. Do I have something written, a speech, a pitch written, a speech written? And no, I speak with my heart and I speak the truth. So you don't have to remember anything. Yeah, and and um, I'm not lying. If I would be lying, I would have to remember what I say, like them. <laughs> and being held on a flat plane that is all in, enclosed beautifully by the ice wall, holding us so intact and protected, it feels like life is different feels it's divine. different it feels divine, I, it, feels divine. It, it feels divine and it's so grounded i feel grounded i'm yeah. i'm speaking from that groundedness that i never had on a on a blue ball fucking yeah. turn around yeah. itself <laughs> but there's a still question that i have uh, concerning the flat earth like why the sky is blue and uh, there's a still many many questions that i haven't uh, answered yet but i know the core of the thing like if i s look too much for answers at one point you get mixed up in more illusion so i know the core i know that we are been indoctrinated in something so big that nobody see it the human has been handicapped to see it because it's beginning to be so big that now they make the lies so huge and so big that nobody see it but that's the that's the illusion. That's the illusion. We have to, 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 to really, really keep speaking out and just shine the light, shine your light. You know, it's not about so much talking about the darkness or stuff like that. I think is the solution is really to shine light, shine light, shine your light. The, the true more, light. The yeah, true the light. true light, the light of the true, the light of the divine. Like I come from a divine source, divine point, divine state of mind. What, I have horns on my head? I have a tuck on my head, that's about it, but I don't have horns there. Yes. Uh, regarding regarding to the blue sky, um, I heard um, that if what we think are the suns or if this universe, whatever we think, these galaxies are all yeah. made up of suns, <laughs> the, which is ironic itself, it's all suns, the universe is of suns. Uh, if we look up at the sky at night we would never see a, a black sky at night yeah. we would never see because if it's all suns shining all the time there would be no dark space in between those points points of light exactly. Exactly. so they're not the suns they are points of light and maybe just the layers and the layers and the layers of air and this most magnificent atmosphere uh, reflected into the waters of of the of the earth makes it all blue. I mean that could explain something. You know, there's another thing I question a lot too with the flat earth, and it's the astrology. Like now I'm getting all mixed up. I started reading a book, and to tell you at what point I'm mixed up with that, and I question everything. I made 35 video on my channel. I started reading a book. I erased them all. 
You were yes. some on astrology. Yes. Remember we talked yes. about this. I'm confusing that because it's man-made. It's interpreted by man. It's uh, like they, they tell us, okay, I, like I'm not saying it's not right or this or that, but everybody can have different interpretation. To me, it's divine. It's celestial. It's, uh, it's where it's the events. is where probably if you do a good journey on earth and that you'll end up being a star and you'll stay as a light body up there, like a soul or something. But yeah, well, they, uh, I, I have my own idea about that. I, it it's, it's not that um, astrology uh, necessary. It's about these planets, you know, this planet over there and, yeah. and anything. They are just points of light. And I think that's the language of God talking to us because these skies have never changed. Those constellations have never changed for thousands of yeah. years. So in the ancient times when they were looking at the night sky and seeing all this constellation over years and years and years they kind of understood the language of the gods yeah. that's the language of the gods that you we just enter so at the time that you're coming on the earth in the body the language of gods is this specific con configuration that makes sense in that level it just yeah. doesn't make sense that if it limits us to who we are right, as that, well, that, that, yeah that's astrology the doesn't make any more sense to me if it limits me to say okay because of this planet over there you cannot do this kind of things no we we are full potential full okay. potential okay. omnipotent omnipresent beings that's what takes me uh, lifts me up from the patterns yet sometimes I listen to the language that God wanted to give me in this mm -hmm. physical body and just put it there it could be all beautiful too no but, the, but that's it the, the stars are really uh, something enigmatic too just like the moon and many other stuff but uh, for sure it's the language but the, the the book that I was reading was like that it was more to to tell you, okay, you are this, if you are a Libra or you are, like, I don't want to know that. It's personal interpretation. It can be anything. Me, I want to go into ancient astrology book to really tell me why this formation is like, like to learn about it more than about what it is related to every subject. Like to, to say I'm Gemini or this or that, like, uh, and I'm limited to this. Like, I know I come from that constellation or that's, I'm, I'm born into that spot. But, well, like, I want to learn more about it, but I just don't think the present and uh, current. I think, I think it just it, represents yeah. to you the basic yeah. blueprint of this embodiment, the basic blueprint. It yeah. doesn't tell you your complete full, full potential, which is exactly. all of it, because exactly. you're, you're, you're all of those signatures. Which is by design again, because uh, we all been indoctrinated. So it's all by design to keep us away from the oneness. And to, 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 it's all like I see those things like I see I recognize because I attach so much to the old, to the, 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 the old earth now that especially going on YouTube. It's wonderful. It's the best journey I ever took in my life. I suggest it to everybody. It's so in, it's so rich. It's so. I feel so good every day, and I'm sure you too. You feel liberated. I feel like I can fly. I feel like I have wings. I feel like I saw I told the perfect it's Manny last night. I wrote him a nice email. I said, Bro, you give me so much strength my way. I feel like I can fly. It's like, but that's what we have after all. All we have is each other. That's why it's very important to love one another and to help one another because that's all we have. We're not going to have. God that's going to come down from the heaven and solve the problem here. It's up to us to solve it. We all have his consciousness, but we are been put in trance from birth. So we forget everything, the consciousness of God, and we never realize our true potential and what we're capable of putting out in the world. So it's very, very important to, to start working on yourself and realize you're divine. And you, you, my, my God, if it takes the flat earth to wake you up, take it. But there's greater work also than the flat earth to do on yourself to be a very very attached to the oneness and the like you have to work on yourself that's what i did that's what you did and that's what made us come together and that's what is so wonderful in that journey i meet all kinds of people from all over the world it's wonderful that's true i'm making more connections 
yeah. into into many many places in the world that I never thought I would through this one specifically even though my other videos before flat earth uh, were, was also going around but I never I myself never felt connected you know what yeah that's it once you start putting out yourself and touching with your higher self uh, the God will give you the strength and will bring you to places you've never been before but he will never give you more than you can handle. Look at me. It all went in stages. I didn't interview Perfect Kids Manny a year ago. I wasn't, I, would, I wouldn't have been ready. I would have been fucking froze. Like I would have been like in a state of freezing. Now a man is just a man for me. I can talk to anybody, anytime, anywhere. A man is just a man. Why? Because I recognize myself and others. So when you do that, a man is just a man and you can approach anybody. You can live your life free and happy with your mind free and i think mm -hmm. that's the, the journey of life anyway and me i just yeah. <laughs> oh, well so thank, so thank you very much it was for, nice we went for, longer than we went longer than expected longer. i was going to mention but i wanted to congratulate you for staying in your functional masculine yeah. We need functional masculinity on earth the same way that we need uh, functional um, uh, femininity on earth. Oh. I, was, I was with a group of uh, Persian people last night and you cannot, I was shocked out of my core. Uh, they were showing me pictures of women in Iran, the modern women in Iran. It is so scary. I could not believe it. It is so yeah. scary. It's so scary and it's happening all over the modern world yet in Iran especially all their eyebrows were up here um, all the faces were Botox uh, all noses done all breasts done all the lips really really huge oh my uh, the, the, these these uh, cheeks all uh, and they're all blonde it was like looking at this this fantasy land yeah. of of uh, what do you call it clowns or yeah. it was it was yeah. a weird artificial world um, and that is replaced the real beauty and real consciousness of feminine and you know whoever that just uh, blames masculine for its problem <laughs> and that's why feminism has been created uh, to 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 hate you know the masculine and whatever it's not about that because men are as tortured within this system as women are and look at the women of the world is this where we want to go into artificial zone of uh, of retardness i'm but, not judging but it's sad that's why it's so dysfunctional also because a lot of women attached to what happened to other women in the past and they attach to that consciousness that they've been suppressed suppressed so they never go like you and speak out on youtube and express their true femininity and their their power that they have inside, because you, you, you have you, you have so much strength. You, it's terrible. You, you gave me wings. I told you. Oh, uh, so well, we all have power, you know, both as feminine and masculine. But, it's just the time to for those two true, true uh, forces of creation to come together, because yeah. it's God giving life to God at all levels yin and yang happens all the time and then from that union is the birth of more gods not births of of luciferian looks in everyone and deviation from nature to such a point that we have no respect left anymore no there's a great awakening going on on earth and uh, me i'm part of it and i'm bringing more and more people on i'm speaking out even to my reggae uh, singers that i interact with like i want to wake people up it's something that's very easy to wake up and uh, if you if you if you especially if you don't fit in especially if you don't fit in if you never fit in if you listen to me you never fit in it's going to be very easy for you to wake up believe me Okay. Well, we wanted to talk for half an hour. Here yeah. we are, more than an hour. Uh, I always appreciate talking to you. And you know what I wanted to say? It's always because you have Bob Marley behind you. His spirit is here. Uh, Bob Marley, I just want to t tell you wherever you are, brother, right now in spirit, we really love you. Thank you for the message, for for dedicating your life <laughs> to, to the truth the way you did. We really appreciate it and this brother uh, that is so connected with you 
thank you for that uh, functional masculinity, I, both of you. <laughs> yeah, thank, thanks, Mar. And that's why I carry Bob with me because it's a spiritual thing. It's not, it's not uh, to brainwash people or anything. It's spiritual for me. I've been attached to that man. He's my number one teacher, so he follows everywhere. And okay. I know I yeah. wouldn't have done that without him, without a lot of people that I met through my life. So I'm just giving thanks for life and being thankful for Bob, all the teaching he gave me. So I carry him everywhere. Well, thank you for both of you for being present and remember reminding us, us of yeah. men that have hearts and they feel. Exactly. <laughs> thank you. Bra from the heart or not at all? Yes, yes. Uh, the, just the last thing before we go, yeah. uh, thank you so much for this show. The last thing was that from our last show, yeah. someone wrote back to me and they said, if you want to do any actions about the chemtrails, just know that there is a Detroit action against geoengineering. Let's remember Detroit action okay. against geoengineering. And you can go on their website with that. And the woman has put all her money, the money, the, per, the person that has created it, her name is Bernadette uh, Green. And they're having a humongous pro, uh, protest in April 23rd in Detroit. And he told me also that it was a very huge by thousands and thousands of people in Italy just recently that went on the streets against the geoengineering and the poisoning of our skies. So, and also I just wanted to mention one more time, let's all of us join the geoengineeringwatch.org, which is Dale uh, Willington's site, yeah. please. We have to do something about this. Power to the people, power to the people. Let's rise and shine and change the world. Yes. We're Thank out. you. It was Janik and Mark Queen again. It was very, very interesting. I love I love those chat bar. It's wonderful. It you feel you, you make my day. You feel my hey. heart with joy. Hey, sure. and and from heart to heart, from our hearts to each other and to the whole world because we are in love with truth and we are in love with the essence of humanity. Exactly. Yes. Thank so you. that was us. We're out now and we'll be back eventually. I don't know when. We have no agenda. We just, uh, me and Mar, we don't plan nothing. We just decide randomly to go okay tomorrow or we talk to each other almost every day but i mean uh, we don't plan anything so we will see you in the future bye i'm out <laughs>